There was a tremendous babble of excitement and such a crush of enormous Vikings that not everyone could get into the great hall. And there was a big jumble of barbarians shouting and shoving about. Strike called for silence. I have called you here today, Boomstrike, because we have a problem on our hands. A rather large dragon is sitting on the beach. The crowd was deeply unimpressed. They were hoping for a more important crisis. Mogadon voiced the general disapproval. The big drums are only used in times of ghastly deadly peril, said Mogadon in amazement. You have summoned us here at a horribly early hour just because of a dragon, he sneered. This is no ordinary dragon, said Strike. This dragon is huge, enormous, got smackingly vast. I've never seen anything like it. This is more of a mountain than a dragon. Not having seen the dragon mountain, the Vikings remained unimpressed. They were used to bossing dragons about. The dragon, said Strike, must of course be moved, but it is a very big dragon. What should we do, old Wrinkly? You're the thinker of the tribe. It's a sea dragonus giganticus maximus, and a particular big one, I'd say. Very cruel, very intelligent, ravenous appetite. Professor Yobbish is the Viking expert on the subject of dragons. Perhaps you should consult his book on the subject. Of course, said Strike. How to train your dragon, wasn't it? I do believe Gobber burgled it from the Meathead Public Library. He gave a naughty look at Mogadon, the Meathead Chief.